Hello viewers, so welcome back to Duncan Rupp at V3 Killing Harmony, and last time we we finally gotten up to Chapter 4's murder, and Mew has somehow been murdered. From what the time the death indicated in the Monokuma file, Mew was killed in the f well, while we were still in the virtual world. Okay, so that's gonna be... So let's investigate Mew's body. Grasping around her neck as if she was gasping for air. Her eyes are wide open in panic. She must have been suffered quite a bit. Wow! Ew. That is one grody face. Mio must have suffered a lot. <laughs> a vulgar death fit for a vulgar bitch. Hey! Stop, Oma. Even if you're joking, that's a little it's far. Nothing. You're right. You should never speak ill of the dead, no matter how much you hated them. Right? Even if she was a despised, pathetic, dirty, cum toilet of a person. Sorry, I'm just suffering from a cold, so... And I just want to get these episodes out before a certain thing I have to go through. It's a long story, we'll get to it when, when, that, when we're a little closer. <sighs> Suffice to say, I'm just. Suffice to say, it's nothing too major, it's just something mi completely minor. Hopefully, I could get this done before the end of February, so I hope that's pretty much my goal now is. But, but what's Mew's cause of death? It doesn't say on the Manukuma um. file. Um, may I? I wanted to let you know, just in case it turns out to be a clue. By the way. Um, I was the first one to log out and find Mio's body. She was w still wearing the helmet, and her body was contorting into an awful position. Mio logged out, Maki logged out after I did, and she helped make me take Mio's helmet off. And then she was gone. Hey! Is that a confession? Why? How is that a confession? Anyways, the question is, the cause of death, what caused her to suffer like this? Uh, how did she die? Let's have a look at her visor. This is a device that we will wear on our heads to enter the virtual world. Some helmets still have their quartz plugged in, others have them hmm. removed. <coughs> Sorry. Sneezed again. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna do my best to get through this, so uh, if I sneeze, I'm sorry. I can't help it, and I want to get these episodes in bulk, and so yeah, I might have this cold for a while, so just push through it, I guess. Positive they were unplugged after locking out. That's. Ah, it's. That's it, the cords. We need. We were supposed to plug the two cords from the computer to our helmets. Red one is for consciousness, blue is memory. If you get those mixed up, out of out of curiosity, what happens if you switch the cords? I don't know. I never done that before. Probably gets all glitchy or something. Maybe you'll become a vegetable. Maybe you'll body swap with someone. Who knows? Hmm. A glitch? Device instructions? What's that? A small bottle? Hmm? There's something on the seat. It's a small bottle. I feel as though I've seen this before. Huh? This is yours, right, Suichi? Huh? Mine? Um... No, I guess it's not yours, but it is from your <gasps> lab. Ah, uh, that's right. This was in the Ultimate Detectives lab. Right? Yeah, is that poison? Hmm. So you know about this, Oma. <laughs> of course, because I already checked it. We are in a killing game, you know. If there's poison and tricks prepared, then of course I'll investigate them. ASAP. Is that 
Um, oh, it's not so I can use them. I check in case someone else uses them. Is that really true? By the way, did you see the label on the back of this bottle? Mm -hmm. The label. According to the warnings here, this poison is pretty lethal. It becomes neutralized once it's mixed. So it has to be taken directly. But when it's but when it's taken directly, the victim will immediately die even if they only sip a little bit. Which means if you could get the victim's mouth open, you could kill them instantly. I can't imagine a better method of killing someone who's logged By the in. Way. I should tell you what symptoms this poison causes. It causes a small blood vessel under the con conjunctiva, conjunctu the conjunctiva, which makes the whites of your eyes turn blood red. Bloodshot eyes. That's important information. Um, well, that's everything about this person. <laughs> Am I doing a good job? Maybe it's time you acknowledge me, acknowledge me as your partner. No. I thought I remember you saying that you didn't want to be my partner. Mm -hmm. Well, did I? Well, sometimes I lie without thinking about uh -huh. it. Seriously? Anyway, who brought this poison? Do you think the culprit did it? Who brought the poison? I can't be certain yet. But I know who that person, that poison was left on that person's chair. Yep. I think so too. Spot down poison. This is five for five Moved. My concern is the cords. So I guess go through all the people. Like I thought. Mm -hmm. You thought you saw me? Ah. Yeah, I told Suichi about it. There's a small window in the dining room. Maybe ten minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw me. Oh, oh so you saw me then? Um, I thought. <laughs> um, I thought I might have been mistaken. She shouldn't be able to be shouldn't have been by the chapel. So you're only saying you weren't were mistaken so you don't have to feel what? as guilty, huh? Because if you have been positive it was Miyu, then you could have done something sooner. You could have prevented her death, you know. <laughs> That's Hey. That's just speculation, Oma. You can't judge in hindsight. My bad. Oh, uh, we went a little off topic there. Anyway, I wanted to ask you something. What do you know? What did you do after you thought you saw me? Um, um I thought I was mistaken, but I was really bothered me so. About ten minutes later, I told Suichi, and while we were talking about it, bang. Ah, uh, what? What was that sound? It sounded as if something was struck very hard. It came from outside, but... We heard a loud noise and rushed down into the entrance hall. For now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounds close. Huh? Kibo's voice? Huh? He wasn't he at the uh, chapel? Okay. 
He was, but Tsumi and I are positive it was his voice. We heard Kiba from the entrance hall when we should have heard when he should have have been in the chapel. What? That's weird, cause you shouldn't be able to hear anything between the chapel and the mansion. Even Mew said that. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah, you can hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. I see. You're right. That sounds that shouldn't that sound shouldn't reach through the map loading point. So how did he, so how did we hear Kibo's voice? How were we able to hear Kibo at the mansion if he was at the chapel? Maybe someone's what? lying. Lying. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Sorry about that. Like hey. I said, big sick and all. By the way, Oma, did you really hear a loud noise or Kibo's voice at all? Ah. Hmm, I'm not sure. I must have not noticed because I was too busy searching. <sighs> You're lying to his face. Kaido? Hey, hey! Kaido, if you keep interrupting me when I talk, do you like me or something? Don't screw around! Who would like you, dumbass? I was interested in Suichi... Huh? Suichi's conversation. My conversation? Ah. You heard Kibo's voice when it should have been impossible. Can you tell me more about uh. that? Well, what I said before was pretty much everything. After that, we head back to the chapel to see what happened. Uh, um... We saw Gunta as we left the mansion, and the three of us went to the river together. That's when we met up with yeah. Oma. And then we used the signboard that I found as a bridge. What about... what about it though? Did you notice anything? I suppose but... not. I see you're working hard. It looks like you're starting to take this game seriously, Kaido. Stop! Okay. Yeah, that loud bang will have to be sorted out. Um, I've been wondering. What was the secret to the outside world? That's we were searching for anyway. That's true, we got sidetracked by Mio's murder case. We never discovered what what that secret was. Hmm. We wouldn't we couldn't find anything at the chapel, and you found nothing at the mansion, right? Uh, okay. No, Tsumi and I didn't find anything. My bad. I didn't find anything either. That's probably the same with Kaido and Gota too, right? Right? And knowing them, if they have found something, they would have told us yeah. right now. Yes, they would have had. Unlike Whoa. you. Wow, Suichi, did you hear that? The robot's being sassy with me. That's so mean. Did you know robots don't need warm blood to function? So they can become cult like this? That's why he's more concerned about the secret to the outside world than Mio's than for <laughs> me. He told us he couldn't cry even if he wanted to. He went so far as to stage his dramatic That's reaction. Not. That's not true. I'm hoping we can discover the truth too. Oh. You're pretty you're a pretty advanced robot. You can be sassy and make excuses. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> You don't have to be so wary of me. <clears throat> I'm keeping my eye an eye out in case Kaido tries to it's bother true. you. Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm not trying to replace Kaido as your partner, okay? Hey, hey. But I'll help you as much as I can. So, where are you going to investigate now? What is he trying to do? Why does he insist on following me around? Miki Maki was working on the computer. Her hand was moving on the 
around rapidly. Um, you know how to work that computer, monkey? No, no not really. I never used this program before either. Hmm. I see, I imagine that would be difficult to understand unless you were an expert. Well... But I did find a text file regarding this program. It has information about the program's basic features, but other than that, there's not much. Oh, oh so what did it say? Ah. If you don't want to tell me, at least tell it to Suichi. <sighs> According to this text file, the killing game simulator used a certain program at the base. It's called the Neo World Program. There's somehow this is somehow connected to the second game. Mm. That's weird. Neo World Program. Never heard no. of it. In this killing game simulator, objects can't break. Your body five senses are connected to your avatar, and your avatar cannot be harmed. But any damage inflicted on your avatar will be transferred to your body in the real world. That matches what Mew told us. That's true. If your avatar receives fatal damage, then your bod real body will die from huh? shock. From shock. Oh. oh, this is the first time we're hearing about this. If someone receives a fatal injury in the virtual world, then they die in the real world. Well, your five senses are connect con connected, so it, it makes sense you feel the same amount of pain. Right? So, it wouldn't be too surprising if you died from a fatal injury. Oh, man. But the more important question is, why did Miu keep such an important detail a secret? That is strange. I have no idea why she, she wouldn't mention such an important detail. Did she hide that from us on well. purpose? That's all it says about the virtual world's basic features. The rest of the virtual world is pretty th is the same as the real world, including the laws of physics. Warps and special transportations like mounts do not exist. So you can only move around using your avatar. How boring. She should have added warps and mounts to the virtual <sighs> world. That's all it says in this text Thank file. Thank you, Bucky. That was very helpful. But... But this is the info in the text file, correct? What are you talking about? What do you mean? -uh. I'm not dumbfounding you or anything, Bucky, but I'm just saying that file could have been rewritten. It's possible someone rewrote the original information with false info, but... you know? But to determine that, you would need exclusive knowledge of it's computers. It's my time to shine! It looks like a job for me! What? Eh? Huh? Stop it. Don't get in our way. <clears throat> I won't get in your way. In fact, I want you to let me help with the investigation. Hey. Help with the investigation? Bontara, what are you saying? Hey! Come on, please. Won't you let me help with the investigation? Ever since I forgot... I'm bad with computers, and I'm good with computers what are you now. Talking about? That logic doesn't make any no sense. Way. You can't, Montaro. We're not allowed to help the participants as mascots. We gotta stick to that I rule. I don't care. I don't give a fart about the rules. I want to help everyone. I want to avenge my dead mummy. Huh? Your mummy? You mean me? Not that. No, Montaro. You've forgotten again. You forgot that she's not our mother. I want and you're forgotten, forgotten about the important person you need to protect. <laughs> Shut up, you pig! I'm busy avenging Mummy's death. <laughs> uh, uh, no, how sad! But it looks like this is goodbye. I love you, but there's something, someone I need to protect. Goodbye. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Um... Alrighty then, let's do this. Do what? what? I don't care either way. If you want to help, then that's fine. Hmm... Thanks. Sure, I suppose, but... Thanks! I'll do my best for Mummy's sake. No. Wait, perhaps we should. <laughs> He's doing his best for his dead mommy. I'm so touched! Uh, okay. Alright, fine. I'll leave it to you then. I suppose I have no choice. Right. 
I'll start analyzing the computer right away. Uh, God. This stinky little computer is no match for my hands. Yeah, his hands are going at such an intense speed that the friction is creating fire. Stop. All right. I've already analyzed a few huh? things already. Okay. The text file in is considered consent with the original program. It doesn't look like it was altered. Yay! Also, I found this too! Is this... This looks like information of when everyone locked in and out. Okay! There's no science that this was altered, either. It's definitely accurate information. Hey! Could you show it to me? So who's locked out first? Okay, they all locked in. Oh, um, when was the death? Uh, estimated time. Six thirty. So, who committed murder at six thirty? Uh, Kaido left for an hour. So. Kaido could commit murder. Well, aside from me, everyone has logged in and out right. once. Then it would appear that no one strictly locked out, secretly locked out, and then locked back in. Then my main concern becomes Kaido. He locked out ahead of us. No, it couldn't be him. So Kaido was the first one out. So. What was he doing? Um, also, there's something else I noticed while I was analyzing the program. So. It looks like some parts of the program were rewritten. Huh? The program's been rewritten? Oh. Obviously, Miyu was the only person capable of doing that. Hey, hey. So which files did she rewrite, and what did she okay. change? I'll analyze that, of course, but it's gonna take some yeah. time. Well, as long as you're done by the class by the class trial, then Suichi will be able to avenge Miyu. He's just saying whatever he pleases. All right. Then I'll keep on analyzing the crap out of this program. <laughs> You're so reliable. Yeah. Way more than you. Sorry. Okay, so... What was he doing? That's right. Suichi, I gotta explain. Just so you don't under uh, misunderstand, um, explain why. Ah. You're talking about how you locked out by yourself, right? Okay, let's hear what? it then. Wh why are you... Yeah. Feel free to lie, of course. Exposing lies is the real pleasure of this don't game, after around. all. Huh? Why? Hey. Kaido, just ignore him. Talk to me, okay? I mean... About the whole locking out thing? I don't really get it myself. When I was looking for the secret of the outside world on the rooftop, a circle lit up under me. I was suddenly sucked in, and before I knew it, I was locked out. The same thing happened when I used the phone to the log to log out. How did that happen on the roof? Uh, um. And what happened after you locked so... out? Everyone else was still locked in, but I didn't know if it was okay for me to log back in. So I just went back to my room and slept. Since it was dawn, I was pretty tired. Um... And the body discovery announcement woke you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I heard it and rushed back hey. here. Do you remember what condition Mio's body was in when you locked out? Now, I didn't pay attention to that. So I didn't know. You didn't notice anything wrong? Like whatever she was dead or not? Shut up! Like I said, I don't know. Ah. Okay, sorry. So I just need the, to object to the contradiction in that statement, right? Around. I said I'm not lying. Tell him, Suichi. 
No, Suiji, in order to find the truth, you can't be bliss. Hey! Gota, are you alright? So are you still depressed about me? Come on, don't be such a DB downer. By the way. Oh, Gunta, I want you to I want to know what you think. Rare. I know, but who do you think is the culprit? Gunta don't know. Not no. Murder already happened when Gunta wake up. How this happened? But why? This happened. Why me you dead? Gunta not understand. Not understand anything. How can this be? But Gunta frustrated and sad. Gunta no could protect me you. He seems to be all over the place right now. Ah oh, man, he can't think at all when he's like this. It's true. But Gunta doesn't seem to be lying. I'm pretty sure he's telling us the truth. Well, I guess a big dum dum like Gunta doesn't have the brains to lie in the first place. Hey, don't think about him like that. I'm so disappointed in you, Gunta. When I first met you, I thought you'd be more useful. Sorry. Gunta, idiot! So sorry, Gunta, sorry he no could protect me, you, Gunta. Hey! If you feel that bad about it, then stop blaming yourself. Help us find the culprit instead. This is the culprit's fault anyway, so pull yourself together and help us, okay? Mm. Okay, Gunta understands. Gunta do his best! To fight culprit, Gunta definitely do his best yeah. this time. Yep, now that's the spirit. Now Uma's encouraging him? I really don't know what Uma is thinking. <clears throat> I never thought Mia would be killed. When I saw her avatar there not moving, I thought maybe, you but right. you're right. You saw that Mio's avatar in the virtual world has stopped moving. <coughs> Sorry. Me, Kibo, Maki all found her avatar. Hey! Can you tell me more about that? Any details? I... We were looking for this secret to the outside world at the chapel. Hey. Mio was too, right? No. No, Mio volunteered to look around the outside of the chapel, so she wasn't with us. Mio volunteered to look around outside? We searched, but we couldn't find anything. Then, right we were starting to get tired. All of a sudden, we heard a really loud sound outside. That must have been the sound I've heard as well. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it all the way from the inside. Something hit the chapel wall? So we rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mio's avatar. Uh, um, That's when you went to log out to check Mio's real body, but... correct? But when we but when we went to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Oh, and while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed thank up. You. I see, thank you. Oh. That test to me sounds important, especially about how they couldn't cross the river. Because? Because if they weren't able to cross, then no one could have gone between the, the mansion and the <laughs> chapel. Then this helps us narrow down the people who could have come into contact with Mio. Who could have come to the, come into contact with Mio at the chapel? Suppose I investigate everything I can here. Are you done investigating the crime scene? So, do you want to know who the culprit no. is yet? Uh, no. This might not actually be the crime scene. Yes, injuries in the virtual world could be fatal in the real world, meaning there's a possibility that she was killed in the virtual world, which means the next area to investigate oh, should I be see. the virtual world. We should go there uh -huh. again. Huh? See? I just read your mind, didn't I? Didn't I? Right, right, right. Got it. If that's the case, then I'm coming oh. too. Oh, great. He's coming. You must really like yeah. me, huh? 
Say whatever you want. I don't have time to waste on you. Yeah. If we go back to the virtual world, we might find some new clues. With those, I might be able to clear um. my name. May I join you as well? I also think we should investigate the virtual world again. All right. Why don't we ju ah. we all go? So oh, so I get to be that avatar what? again. Huh? Did you actually like the avatar after all? Well... I'm going to stay here. He's still in the middle of analyzing the program. Hmm. I'm going to search this place some more. This is no time to be sleeping. That's not what we're... Well, that's <laughs> fine. Then I'll stay here huh? too. What? Hmm? I'm surprised. Are you going to get lonely without your partner? My bad. But I'm busy too, you know. I have to watch Maki in case she tries to do anything huh? deceitful. Deceitful. See? Well, you and Kaido are pretty close, so you might do something deceitful to him, right? Thank goodness. Good thing Goto's here with me. You glare is too scared to handle alone. Goto would risk his life to protect me from a huh? murderer. Huh? Hey! Hey, if you're going if you keep saying messed up crap like that, then I'm gonna kick your ass into right orbit. Already. It's fine. Just ignore him and hurry up into the virtual world. Okay. Kato, let's just focus on solving the case <laughs> right now. Fine. Thank goodness. I don't like violence. The ultimate supreme leader would rather sneak around. So that means So anyway, I'll leave the virtual world to you, Suichi. Yeah. But I'm not exaggerating when I say this class trial can only be solved by you, okay? Your talent could save useless people here, you know. What? Who... who can... who are you calling useless? I told you. Enough already. Um. Kaido, let's go. Kaido, Kibo, Himiko, Tosumi, and I prepare to enter the virtual world again. Here we go. We picked up our helmets once again, sitting in the same seats as before. Uh, so the red cord goes in the right side and the blue cord in the left, yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Right is the hand I hold my chopsticks with. I gotta be sure to get it right. If you're that worried, why don't you use one that's already set up? We place our devices on our heads and flip the switch. Here we go again. But still, the new world program thing is still a big eye raiser. Oh, it's my avatar. Look, my avatar. So you liked it after no. all? So we're back 100%. here. Apparently, we always arrive in this room when we mm. log in. Mia said that logged in and out is impossible unless we're in this room. Huh? Then how did I get locked out while I was on okay. the rooftop? Yes, we need to investigate that area do? too. First, we need to check Mia's avatar, That's right. right? I think her avatar is still near the chapel. <laughs> Then let's head out to the chapel. Ah, uh, I should check the map before heading to the chapel. Two maps on the wall, one for the mansion and one for the world. Check the map. Blah, blah, blah. We already know. And the loading. Pretty much we already know. This map was made by Mew. Is that what's bothering me? Hey, Suichi. I understand you're looking at maps like you feel calm, doesn't it? Huh? Huh? Hmm. You're the type of kid who stares at maps alone instead of playing at recess, no. aren't you? Ah, uh, I never did anything like that. 
Shuichi. Don't forget we are here for you, bro. Indeed. You're not the own. You're not alone anymore. That's fine. You don't need to withdraw into a shell, you know. Hmm. I'm so proud of you. You made friends with real people, not maps. That's wrong. I'm investigating. Just investigating. Okay, so we can't go. Oh, Suiji, could you please come with me? What ahead? happened? What? What happened? Mm. I found something strange. I don't know if it's rela relevant to the case, but I want to hear your opinion regardless. It's right this way. Hmm. What the? This is toilet paper? Right? Why would it be in a place like That's this? Right. It's cold here. Huh? Huh? Which means... My internal thought was that someone may have come here to defecate. No. Ah, uh, no. I don't think that's it. I don't think Avatars have val- Oh! Oh, I don't have to go at all. Huh? I didn't realize that. That never occurred to me, as I do not need to- No! No! No, no, I get what you mean. I'm sorry. Ah! Oh. Oh, wait! But... That's still strange. Why would toilet paper... Toilet paper be in a place like this? Could this be related to the murder? It's goddamn toilet paper! How can it... I'd be surprised if the toilet paper actually killed someone. Hey, so... Hey, isn't this the signboard that Mew threw into the river? Yeah. Whoops! My hand slipped. You know... She... It's not some... It's not some other signboard, right? She said there's no. only one of them. It's definitely the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks ah. in the river. So... Oh, so that would... Ha but... What happened? But there's something bothering me. The rocks that the, were on the mansion site. What about their concern? From the chapel to the mansion, that's odd. The flow of the river. Shuichi! Hey, think later, bro. Let's just get moving. Alright, for now, I, we need to investigate the scene. How can you kill someone with toilet paper? That's a bit ridiculous. As I thought. The scene of the crime has not been altered since I found her. So... So there's no possibility that someone tried to tamper with the crime scene afterwards. <sighs> That's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty convinced in my memory. <laughs> I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. What? If you think I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know. Unfortunately. No, thank you. I do not think I could wait a whole year. I log a locked out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Look at all this stuff scattered. Jeez. That's what we were going to start investigating right now, isn't that right? Okay. Right. So, what do we have? This was a hammer. Why would there be a hammer in this world? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that would be used as weapons. Mio said she deleted dangerous objects. I can't imagine she missed a hammer. Was Mio lying? But why would she lie? A phone? Is that a cell phone? There's a cell phones in this world, but what could they be for? No. Ah, uh, that's it. It's a phone, so... Hmm, a cell phone. I can't believe there's something like that ah. this here. Kaido, perfect time. I'd like you to help me out with something. 
I just want to test something out. Help you, well? Of course. Of course, I never say no to a favor from my sidekick. Thank you. Thank you, Kaido. You know, so what do you need me to is do? That all right? Uh, you don't mind have to do anything. You just have to stand here. Mm -hmm. I just gotta stand here? Kaito Manomta. I knew it. He logged out just as I thought. This can be used to log out just like the phone in the saloon. And this proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves if you just say their name. You can log out anyone you right. like. See, thanks to Kaido's help, I'm starting to pin this down. I bet Kaido was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Hmm. I should apologize for that later. Mio's avatar is frozen, collapsed in the snow. A logged out avatar disappears. But if the real body dies, the avatar remains. Makes sense for a killing game simulator. But the body disappears, we can hmm. investigate. The avatars never should never show injuries, so stay the same. She still looks almost alive. What? Her face is pretty so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's uh, dead. Okay. Yeah. And a board. Is that a piece of latex? Laxative? Why is this here? That is a mysterious uh, object. Um, it's a wooden mat. It could. It used to be common in bathrooms. Yeah? I didn't see anything like that, like it at the chapel. Where did this come from? Not from the chapel. But why is it here? Yeah. I just figured out with my magic. Huh? huh? I see. You did? Maybe someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river. Hmm. That someone is the no. culprit. Uh, I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if, even if you did use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. I know that. I was just testing you for a bit. Why would you want to test me? But what does this mean? What's something like this doing here? I'm not possibly positive why this laxative is left here, but I'm sure that it must have been have something to do with this murder. Actually, you're right. Yeah. Hey. Could you tell me when you found the body once more? It's a chapel. She was outside. Big sound. Something hit the chapel wall. So we rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mio's avatar. And then we tried to go to the mansion to log out and check Mio's. Blah blah blah. We already know this. Thank you. Um. What's wrong? Is something bothering you? I just remembered something. I think the whispering I overheard might have been related to this case. Uh, um, you heard whispering? Yes. yes. I did not intend to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel and dispersed to begin searching... Oh yeah, before we split up, I want to ask you something, Miu. It would seem Oma and Miu had made plans to meet each other. Huh? Meet each yes. other? Uma was confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was then... mentioned. Then those two met on the well... rooftop. But it's strange, right? If they were planning to meet on the roof mansion's rooftop, then why did Miu volunteer to search the area around the chapel? You're right. That is true. If they were meeting on the roof, she would have, what, wanted to search the mansion. Mm. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel. Why, which is where we found her avatar. And with no bridge to cross, she could have not gone from chapel to mansion. It's true, something is strange about this. Okay, I finished my first... Shuichi. 
It would seem that we finished investigating this place. Okay. Yeah, but there's something I want to ask you. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh, uh, it seems like you can put stuff in your clothes here too, just like the real world. Hmm. I see, just like the real world. Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to do next? Are we going to back to the real oh. world over- uh, Before that, there's one more place I have to investigate. The mansion's rooftop. As I thought. Very well then. Place supposed to me. Uh, I don't really get it, but y if you want to investigate, then do that. So we can, yeah, right. Um. Suichi, everyone is counting on you. Suichi, please give the class trial everything you got to see us through to the end, and I'll do my best as well, of course. And as well, I can at least do that. I'm detective after all. So we have to head to the rooftop. Oh! Shuichi. Hey Suichi, what was all that sorry. about? Uh, Kaido, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see if you could lock out using that salva. Then tell me first. That was bad from my heart. I suddenly got locked out. I panicked and rushed back here. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. Stop it. Come on now, that's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. No. I wasn't interfering. Wait. Why did you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? Uh, um, I want to investigate the rooftop next. Hmm? Huh? What's important about the rooftop? Wasn't Miu at the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Uh. Now, 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 let's believe in Suichi's reasoning. It'll be okay. Suichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective after mm. all. If you're going to be like that, then do whatever you want. Investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Suichi is my psychic. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. Hey now! What are you some credit stealing bully? Why? I mean. Well, I'm going to investigate Mew's avatar since I got sorry. interrupted last time. Sorry. Well then. Let's go to the rooftop. Yeah. We should. <laughs> Me and Omas was supposed to meet on this very rooftop. And the person in charge of searching this area, Kaido, was forcibly locked out. This area must have something to do with this case. Hmm. The storage room? It's a little different than how I remember. Feels as if something was missing. I can't remember. Was there a box? Toilet paper? I can't remember. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? Okay. When murders happen in a mansion in the snow like this, there was locked room mysteries created by piled up snow, isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints of the snow. Um, Kai, Kibo, did you find anything? Mm. This is difficult. There is nothing here that seems to resemble a clue. But Mio should have arranged the meeting with Oma here. I thought we could at least confirm whatever or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there was no clues which to indicate that. Did Mio ever come to the roof? That is an important hey. question. Hikibo, I want your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from this roof from the outside no. the mansion? No, that would have been very difficult. Hmm. 
this roof is rather high. Even the edge of the roof roughly is the height of three to four story building. You're right. Yes, yeah, certainly too high to jump. As I thought. Which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means that the only way to this rooftop is the stairs. I see. Hey! What's wrong, Tsumi? Uh, look at the doorknob. It's locked. Ah! Oh. Uh, it is. It's a thumb turn lock. Easy to lock. It seems like you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. And look, the keyhole to this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? No. Not necessarily. I've seen this before to prevent you from locking yourselves I out. See. Um, if that's so, this rooftop has a lock on the door. That's an important information. Where did this weird toilet paper come from? Inspect the binoculars. I can see that this building is at the top of the hill. I can't see past the point because of the map loading screen. But that's strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Something doesn't seem right. I haven't investigated everything here, and that's it for now. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Huh? Aki, why are you here? I, told I thought you. Matara finished analyzing the program, so he told me to gather hmm. everyone. He finished? We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much okay. done, right? Yeah, you're right. I investigated everything I need to. Shuichi! Well then, we head back first. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna stay goodbye to my. <sighs> Did you like that avatar that much? Then. We should go too. Hey, what's wrong? You. Well, you're definitely more reasonable in a class trial than out. All the other things are too. Huh? What? Well. I'm not trying to sound like Kaido, but I don't think you should carry all the burden alone. You're Suichi. Before you're, before you're a detective, don't ever forget <sighs> that. Well, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as a s Maki to be an assassin. Thank you. Thank you, Maki. Well done. <sighs> she was being considerate just now. Alright. Now I have to go all the way back. Through loading screens. Uh, um, it's just you and me. We should lock by out way. too. By the way, did something happen between you and Kaido? Huh? What? Well, when he locked out a while, little while ago, he looked like... He was in a bad sorry. mood. I'm sorry, that's probably my fault. Uh, um. Suichi. Yeah, we're back. Ah. I pulled the device off my head, and the real world appeared before me. Shuichi. Well, Suichi, isn't the real world way better than some virtual hmm. reality? Anyway, I feel so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Hey, hey there's something I want to ask mm -hmm. you. Hmm? I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were locked in, huh? okay? What? It's a lie. I'm kidding. So, what was it you wanted to ask? Is that alright? You planned to meet with Miu on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting with her? Oh, so you know about that, Suichi. Impressive, Mr. Okay. Ultimate Detective. Then I'll tell you what happened. I never met with Miu. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Huh? Locked? Um... After I gave up and went back to the salon, saloon 
to search for the secret of the um. outside world. Is that true, mm -hmm. Oma? Hmm? Are you doubting That's... me? Can someone verify that you were at the, s the saloon the whole time? Did you meet anyone there? Hmm. No, I don't have a witness. Right? But you can also say there was no witnesses who can prove I wasn't hey. there, unless you saw the salon empty yourself. Anyway. Well, it's up to you whatever you want to believe me or not. Chuichi. But you shouldn't doubt me like that. We're partners. Which one is it? Did Oma meet with me or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Alright, let's see what he's found out. Hey! I'm waiting for you, Suichi. I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analyzing okay. the program. I starting I'm starting to put together a lot of important facts, so here they are. He's really trying to be our friend. A bit, a little bit at Sir. least. First, the person who tempered with this program was Mummy. Like we suspected. Mummy mm. had an in in Enigmatic way of writing her code, so I knew it was hers right away. Oh. I guess her personality wasn't the only ecstatic thing about her. Got a minute? So, what did she tamper with? Um. A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. So. It looks like Mommy deleted a lot of objects from the killing game simulator. Mm. She said to delete anything that could be used as a weapon. But in case, why was there a hammer? Okay. That's true, only the hammer was left, but why was it left, hmm? The way the program was writ written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose? Then... Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual mm. world. No, that cell phone was the original feature of the island, of the program. That implies Miu hid that fact from us, which means um. all Mummy added were two maps. The rest was already part of the program. By the way, By the way while we are talking about objects, I want to ask you something. We used a cyborg to cross the river, but couldn't we have used something else as bridge? Mm. I didn't really see anything that could have been used as a bridge to cross the river. So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. Hmm. So what's the next thing she tampered with? Okie dokie! Well, it looks like she also tampered with a certain parameters of the program. Huh? Parameters? Um... Everything in that program is categorized as either a human or non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned to the human parameters. Really? For some reason, Mommy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. That's... And what happens when you become an object? Mm. Well, the difference is only for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. No. But if if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do ah. that? Perhaps there has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So. Mommy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. Um. The, the coordinates of the virtual world that are represented by the X axis and the Y axis. It seems Mommy added a wall that runs through, runs the length of the Y, of the Y mm -hmm. axis. She created an illusional additional wall. There were walls in all four directions and two down the Y axis. Hey! But you're positive there was only okay. one. Yep, it's definitely the only one. What does this mean? Which walls was the one Mew added? What was the world like originally? Mew said there wasn't anything past the wall. What was 
What? Was that another lie? Um... Also, it looks like that extra wall was given a special setting. A setting allows... A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. It allows objects I through? See. I see. That's very interesting. Hey, hey. So are those all things that she tampered with? Ah. Oh, there's one more thing. Hmm. Also, um, one of you guys also had a strange setting given to their huh? avatar. A strange setting? Okay. Yeah, the setting made it also they would be unable to move if mommy touched them. Then... So if Mew touched them, their avatars would be paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Who was it? Ah, uh, it was Oma. Huh? huh? It's me. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, duh. I wouldn't know. I never touched Mew in that world. See? I see. I didn't even notice. Okie dokie. That's all I have to report. Well, do you think it'll help you okay. guys out? That helps a lot. Thanks. Oh boy, that's a lot to keep track of. Ah. Oh, I should have probably told you this too, though it's probably not related to the case. So. Some sort of some sort of avatar use user error occurred when you all logged in for the first uh, time. Um, an error? Hmm. The contents of an error are unknown, so I can't prove any details. But something strange definitely happened to someone's avatar when you log well, all logged in. I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Ah, and we don't get to find out what that is. <sighs> okay, everyone. Time for the class trial. You uh. know, that thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. And he's bored out of his uh, mind. Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. Really. I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep, I'll be way more energized. Anyway, that's all. Alright, let's get this class trial started. Hey! You seem like you're not into this at all. We don't have to do the class trial, <sighs> you know. But it's going to start, huh? We we know we can stop it anymore. Right. No, we can't. So. This is all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. I... I'm your friend. Huh? He just declared we're Thank friends? Thank you. Going to feel relieved. <laughs> Not worrying, Mataro. See which he will get revenge for Mio's death. That's so mean. And he'll get that revenge by finding the culprit among us. He's right. The culprit is someone Thanks. here. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When the class trial is over, I hope we can all get to know each other better. That's kind of a line that triggers a death okay. flag. I want a fresh start. I want to make up for my past mistakes. Wait. That too. I... Meaning all of you has really... Sorry. Sorry, it's nothing. I'll save it after the class trial is finished. Yeah. The flag is raising! Huh? What was that? I think I've heard something over there. I'll go check it out all by myself. So long, farewell. What did you say? It's waving in the wind. This is stupid. Quit screwing around. Let's hurry up and go. do his best. Two. Going to do his best to be a little bit useful for wow. everyone. I'm so excited. It's definitely exposed the culprit <laughs> this time. What's so exciting about this? Which conflicting emotions in our hearts. We headed to the shrine of judgment. Alright. Alright, let's do this again. And. 
and I am going to oh hold on and I'm going to quickly save super quick to the Shrine of Judgment. Uh, um... It looks like that's everyone. Yeah. Oh, this is everyone, huh? There's a lot less it's of us now. It's just half of what we started with. Unfortunately. Because we we allowed this game to continue. We must stop it somehow. Right? But we can't stop now. We can't let the fun end. Don't. Cut it out. I'm certain this trial will be the last hey. one. Let's focus on surviving this trial first. Yes. You're right. If we mess it up here, our numbers will quickly go even quicker. It'll just be the culprit but... left. That might be okay. Maybe that's what just the other another way to stop the killing game. If we all die, then the killing game would What's end. That? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless okay. if we all die. Well, we won't have to worry. We got the ultimate detective on You're our side. Right. Yeah, it's time for for the detective to shine. Suichi, please keep up the good work. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yes, I have to keep it together. This is the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life, everyone else is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone would be dead. And I will never let that happen. Come on, man. Hey, see witchy, you're getting those huh? all tense? Ah, uh, what? I mean, did I tell you before, Suichi, don't carry all your burn all You get it? And I didn't I and didn't I tell you for not to get in the way, oh. Kaido? Huh? What's your you problem? Really don't get it. We're all relying on Suichi to carry our asses through this class trial, okay? You're like a pair of repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. Well, you know. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry again, I sneezed. Hopefully you get better soon. Shut up. Oh, now you're annoying. Please don't. Whoa, the killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seems to do the trick as Oma turned around dejected. Jeez. Finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Maki. <sighs> Just suck it up, Kaido. Now's not the time to be bickering with each Got other. Got it. Ah, uh, my bad. Sorry. Um... Kaido, I'm okay. Hmm? Hmm? Well... I know what you want to say, Kaido. You don't have to worry. I believe in you! I see. In that case, I believe in you, and you won't say anything else. Shuichi! But if I have any problems, let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Kaido. And I better save, so super quick. Hopefully I get better soon. Okay, with that stupid saving out of the way, let's continue just in case if I had to go through this again. Can I at least skip this? I guess I can't. Let's do it! Alright, let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
all eight of us got into the elevator. The door shut behind us. And like all those times before, we descended. It was dead quiet. The only sound I could hear was the beating of my heart in my ears. My body was trembling. The more I tried to control it, the worse it got. There's no way to get used to it, really. The fear of death. We were all fighting it, trying to be courageous. As we felt as though we were going to our own execution. Not an execution. A test of our will to survive. Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened, and though I couldn't explain it, my body stopped trembling. Here we go again. Welcome. Go ahead and stand behind any open podiums. Ooh. Move your asses! Don't want to see that. I'll do you if, do it to you if you keep father uh. waiting. Wait, is what? he back to normal? Huh? You're not friend oh, anymore? Oh. You jerks must pretty slick using Matara's forgetfulness to befriend him. He just decided on his own that we were his the friends. Bastards. But I won't let you guys trick Matara anymore, cause he's already forgotten. He may have forgotten that he was on Daddy's side, but now he's forgotten that he has forgotten that he was on Daddy's side. Thanks to me, cause I smacked the suffering out of him. How confusing. Well, whatever. Really? I can't remember, but one of you guys is the culprit, right? I can't be in the same room as the killer. It's dangerous. I'm gonna lock myself in my room. Maybe set up a barricade. That's another death anyway. flag. Let's just get started. The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. Yeah, you're crazy. We went to our podiums as normal. We knew what we had to do. There was no protest left in us. It's already the fourth time. The fourth class trial has about to begin. Miyu, the ultimate inventor. She may have given us a lot of trouble, but we all miss her. It's a tragedy, after all. She helped me and Kaede with those cameras, gave Kibo extra function. In the end, she had done a lot of it to us. And the culprit that killed her is one of us. I need to dis discover who it is. In order to survive, I have to find the culprit. And I will fight for it. I will fight with truths and lies in this class trial. Yes, I want to save. Um, thank god. Didn't glitch out. Well, I'm just saving just in case. Alright. Uh, the students enter a virtual world to find the truth of the outside world, but... Hold on... But somehow Miyu is murdered. This... Trial... Blends... A virtual world with the real. Yeah, I was right. Real world. Okay, let's... We got five, so... Oh, 
Oh, what the hell? 32? Oh, that's bullshit! How are you supposed to get 32? Thirty-two, that is ridiculous. So I'm just gonna we'll do the class trial next time. So until then have a good day everybody and I'll see you next time. So until then have a good day and I'll see you next time. So until then this has been your host and I'll see you next time. So until then have a good day everybody and have a wonderful day.